begin with the Cowboys, the first game of the NFL season over there in Arlington. If there is anything to cheer about, and you know, it was not a lot to cheer about, maybe it's the excitement of fans actually ready for some football back here in Dallas-Fort Worth. Our Alexis Wainwright live at the game tonight. Alexis, I hope you have some folks who see that cup is half full this evening after watching that game. Yeah, Steve, that's exactly right. A lot of fans disappointed. They had such high hopes for this regular season opener, but you can hear the music going on. You can hear some of the cheers here behind me. Dallas fans still excited for the overall season for the Cowboys. Let's go, Cowboys! There's nothing gets more exciting than an opening day game against a foe like Tom Brady in a TNT stadium. Cowboys fans have united. Yeah, I was born and raised in this, you know, so I'm, I'm living in Minnesota right now, but I stay true to the blue. Uh, just drove down here, 14 and a half hour drive just to support my Dallas Cowboys. Fans say this is what they've been waiting for. Oh, I love it. I'm excited. Tailgating especially. Oh, man, we're barbecuing. We're making fajitas, chicken. We got the ribs in the smoker. We got sausage there. Everyone here in Arlington is doing what they can to show their support. Uh, vibes are right. It's going to get loud. Uh, we're going to stay out here and uh, make sure that uh, everyone knows inside we're out here. Yeah! It's always exciting. Everybody's hyped up. Everybody's just out here having a good time, always. But the best part of this experience? You know, you meet people you've never known before, and they're just like you've known them forever. That's a great part of being a Cowboy fan, you know. And despite the loss, fans say they're just excited that football season is back. Many of them already mentioning the S word, Super Bowl. Of course, Steve will have to wait and see what happens. But again, a lot of them going home upset, but hopeful for the future. Reporting live outside of AT&T Stadium, Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News.